Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes. It's Jen and I'm going to show you today how to make Miss Piggy out of gum paste. Okay, just like always, if you guys need any tools or supplies you see me using that you could use yourself, if you check the link in the description below, it should be able to help you out. All right, to make my Miss Piggy, I started out with the idea that I was not going to try to make her tiny little hoof feet. <laughs> I know she has like tiny little feet that she wears her little heels in. I was not going to try to make them, so I decided to put her in a long dress. And that's where I'm starting here. I took some white, I had added some black to it, I marbled it in, which means I just mixed it up until it was, you know, starting to get mixed, but not incorporated, till it looked just like you see there. Then I rolled it into a log as you saw, cut off the bottom so I have a nice flat edge there. And I'm kind of tapering it a little in the center, just a little bit, because she has kind of like a little bit of a figure. And I put a lollipop stick down the center and boom, already I've just cheated my way out of like half of Miss Piggy's body. So yeah, there you go. Okay, this part is going to be her kind of like um, her chest and her neck area. I've took a beige piece of gum paste, put it over my lollipop stick and I'm just spreading it out around that little top that I got there and just make it nice and smooth up to the edge and you should be good. All right. Uh, moving on to the arms. I rolled out some of that beige again, nice and thin, kind of a long tube there and I'm only cutting little pieces. You see I cut one end at the angle, the other end straight down. I'm going to have her wearing her black gloves because a lot of times when she has her dresses she wears her gloves. So that's the effect I'm going for. So I took some black, same thickness, you see me match it up there. And I'm using my ball tool to open up the end a little bit so I can kind of cap off the beige part of her arm, the flat end of her arm there so that they'll go together and it'll look more like her arm is going into the black glove. When you have it at the right length, then you're gonna make the hand. I just flatten it a little bit. And as you saw, I made a little cut on the one side for her thumb and then two little cuts. So she has three fingers and her thumb. She doesn't have five digits on her little hands. And then when you get them nice and trimmed up, put it in place with a little bit of water. And just do the same thing with the other arm. You're going to have the black glove hollow out the one end so it can wrap around the beige part of the arm, trim out the fingers so that she has three fingers and a little thumb, and make sure the hands and the thumbs go the right way so you don't want two left hands or right hands on her. Stick it in place. All right, now this strip of black, I'm going to wrap around her shoulders and go across her chest and everything just to hide all the seams. So we're going to cover up the shoulders, we're going to come cover up that beige part in the center there. You see I'm putting water all around the edge. And we're going to make her evening gown a little more fancy. And we're going to just cover all of our unsightly edges. So it's just a dual purpose little wrap there. I just wrapped it around, match it up to the edge there, trim off the extra so it comes together. And look at that, like, yeah, there you go. How easy is Miss Piggy so far, right? All right, now we're gonna move on to her head. I'm starting out with a ball of the beige. You want it a good size, not too big, but they're Muppets and they've got pretty good size heads. I'm flattening it just a little bit. So it's just a little flat in the front and the back and I'm kind of tapering it. So you see it's kind of slanting upward on the top or on the sides and flat on the top and bottom. That's the overall shape you're gonna go for. So when you get a good size, you get a good shape, go ahead and ram it on there onto that lollipop stick and we will move on to her snoot. So I got a little ball, flattened it, rounded it off a little bit. And I also put a little divot underneath. It was hard to see there, but I did do that. I'm taking a tiny piece that I tapered on either end. You see how I rolled it in my hand? And I'm just tucking it up under her mouth. And now I'm using my paintbrush handle to just press two little indentations in her snout to make her nostrils. You see? They're not quite centered either. They're a little bit higher up. So just be aware of that. I'm using my ball tool to make two impressions in her head for her eye sockets. Her eyes are kind of, um, they're not straight across, they, they're kind of slanted upward and downward a little, and they're oval. So just be careful the shape that you make them. They're not round, they are more to the sides and more oval. Adding some white inside of them, and now I'm adding a little ball of blue gum paste to each one, and I added a little half circle of gray gum paste to each one as well to make her eyelids. I thought my phone recorded it, but it didn't, so I'm sorry about that. But all I did was roll it out real flat and just cut two little circles and cut them in half and stick them on there. For her eyelashes, I rolled the black real thin in my palm, and I cut it so it would fit across her eyes and flare out to the side a little bit, okay? All right, so now her face is pretty much done. I'm moving on to her hair. I am going with just a yellow blonde color hair. 
I made the long piece that you saw, folded it in half and just twisted it up kind of loosely to make some kind of coils. And I just keep doing that. I go all over her head, just adding the little, little twists, little coils. I made some really big ones first to just kind of fill in a large amount of space to cover her head up. And then I went back over it again with smaller pieces, just little ones to fill in the gaps to make it look a little more full, a little, you know, softer, whatever you want to call it. And when you're happy with her hair, then it's time to make her ears. She has really good size ears. They're shaped very pointy at the top like a teardrop. So I used my veining tool there. I just took, um, you know, a teardrop shaped ball of gum paste and pressed into it just to make the indentation, you see? Just kind of follow around the tip of the tool there. Peel it off, hopefully, in a nice neat way and then stick it on. If anything, I probably should have made her ears a little bit bigger, but there you go. Now I'm going to add another little touch here. I took some pink shimmer. It's just a powder edible shimmer that I have and dusted it on her cheeks to give her kind of blush. I put a little bit on her nose and a little bit on her lips. I can't really see it too well in this shot, but it was there. So you just trust me on that just to kind of give her her little Miss Piggy blush. A couple little dots of my edible food coloring marker for her pupils. And there you go. Miss Piggy right from the Muppets. Not too bad. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe because I find that helpful. I have lots of other videos out there, so please check those out. And as always, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.